as most of you already know, I am not a huge Charlotte Tilbury fan. I think that her products are really good, but I believe that it's very overhyped. So today I'm bringing you five brands that I feel like, five brands, not five brands, five brands that I feel like are better than Charlotte Tilbury. And yes, I know there are going to be so many of you out there that say, no, Charlotte Tilbury can't be beat. But let's get into the video and let you decide whether or not these are as good, maybe better than Charlotte Tilbury. Many of them are very, very affordable, just so you know that. Let's do this video right now. Before we get started, I can link my earrings and my shirt. I will show you a full length of, of my shirt. The other thing that I can show you is this cute tank top. This is a fold over ruched tank top. I'll put up a picture for you again. And this is, excuse the bra strap, but this is so much fun because it has the three straps that come together. And I just love wearing it under so many things. It is a little bit more expensive than what I normally would pay for a tank top, but it's been so worth it. I really love it. Also if you're new to my channel, I do want to tell you that I do have a numbering system, which seems to be helping everyone a lot. There will be one through however many we get to in this video that will come up on the screen. You don't have to remember the name of the product, just jot down the number, and then you will be able to go open the description box, find that number and shop in the links. And if you do decide to shop the links, I thank you very much for supporting my channel and my family. It really does help us a lot. All right. So in preparing for this video, I really had to rack my brain. Melissa, if you were to have Charlotte Til Tilbury products, and I have a bag full of them, they're right here. I have a lot of Charlotte Tilbury products because I like to try things for you guys. But honestly, the only thing that I think that I would go back and I would repurchase is her Flawless Setting Spray. I love this stuff. It has little polymer polymers in it that really just blur out your complexion and it helps your makeup stay on all day. It has a great mister on it. It doesn't squirt at you. It's really a beautiful product in my opinion. So this product is probably her only product out of all of these that I have in here that I would go, I really can't find anything to substitute for this. Now I forgot about this other product that I really do like from hers and that I would repurchase from her if I had the chance to. I actually have three different ones of these. These are her light wands. This one is called Spotlight, pretty color, just kind of a very light, reflecting, very almost creamy white look, looking color. And then I got the original Pillow Talk one, which I love. I think I like that one the best of all, I, of, all of them I have. And then I got Pink Gasm, which I really think is pretty for an actual blush. It's just beautiful. So these are ones that I probably would go out and repurchase. These, these are pretty. They blend out really easy. You can see the beam that they have on them or the glow that they have on them. They really do have a very special quality in them that how they blend out is very easy. And I used this Pink Gasm the other day and I was like, okay, I'll concede, this is pretty special. It just really complimented my skin and I was really pleased with it. So that's probably the other product in her line that I would go ahead and repurchase. But do I feel like she has that market on blush and highlight down? No, I have one of her blushes uh, that has the extra little circle in the middle that you're supposed to be able to use. I actually don't like this formula at all because it just doesn't work for me. This is ecstasy. And I don't know whether I just got one that was much too light, but I feel like this is an extremely powdery blush. It's not one that I was really on board with. She also has her contour wand. I don't feel like I could not live without that one either. So let me tell you who I do feel like has their finger on all of the cheek products. I feel like she does such a good job in her makeup line. It's Rare Beauty from Selena Gomez. And I have truly fallen in love with so many of her products. Let's talk about her soft pinch blushes first. This one from that is called Happy is the one that I have on today. These are so very pigmented, but they are so easy to blend out. Now these not unlike the pink gasm, these are kind of a more satin formula, so they have no glow in them. They're just super soft, super pigmented. I have five colors of all of her colors that she has. I love them. I picked up this little set right here. There was a really orangey color in there that I don't have anymore during the holidays. So if she does come out with her sets, it's really worth it because you need such a tiny amount to be able to get that look right there. 
so pigmented and these last like crazy you're going to have that blush on at the end of the day i feel like there are so many colors for so many people let me show you this one right here that is a little bit deeper that even though i don't wear a lot of deep colors of blushes i still think that that is a stunner i feel like these blushes are special i feel like this is something you know charlotte tilbury has come out with those wands but you can't really just wear that beam on your cheeks all the time. You do need something to have substance. It needs to be a little bit prettier. And by the way, this full size right here, this is only $20 compared to hers that are $40 for each of these. So I feel like this, even though it's still high end, it is quite a bargain. And then she also came out with her bronzer sticks, which this formula is very interesting and very, I feel almost innovative. This blends so easily and it isn't my normal color that I would choose to use. It really just blends to be a color that works with your coloring as long as you stay within your hue. So if you're super light, you're not going to want to put a darker one on, but it really does just show up just a pretty bronzy color. And I, the texture of it, once again, it's like these blushes. It's this silk. It just feels so beautiful on the skin. Lastly, I want to tell you about her liquid luminizers. These are phenomenal and I love these so much more than I like the Charlotte Tilbury, even though again, like I said earlier, I do like the Charlotte Tilbury, but this is a very special formula. I just think that this formula, because of how liquidy it is and how easy it is to work with i mean i barely i'll i just touch that and it blends into my skin and it just seems to just melt and that's what all of these products do they just kind of melt into your skin they are so gorgeous they're just beautiful this comes in a ton of colors i don't know if this enchant color which is the one i have today i don't know if this is in but my plan is, is to go look at some other sephoras and see whether or not i can find more of these colors because i really love this formula while we're right here on the cheek formula i needed to mention laura geller i have several of laura geller's products here with me today the foundation that i have right here today i have to say that i really have been enjoying this you can use this as your concealer and your foundation you don't just have to use it just as your foundation but it again it goes on seamlessly and i absolutely love that um, i think personally i like this so much better than charlotte tilbury's magic foundation that one is so thick and you would think that a, a cream makeup like this would be super thick but getting it on and using it in the proper way which is very lightly and i always use it with a sponge or with a puff then you're going to get just this beautiful, nice, light, airy look to your skin. If you're somebody that likes a lot lighter coverage, her Baked Balance and Brighten, I wore this for years when I was younger before I needed a little bit extra coverage. If I pair these two together, this is so pretty because the Balance and Brighten has all of those baked colors in it, minus in light, has all of those baked colors in it that really help to do the color correcting, which I think Charlotte Tilbury is missing the mark so much on any color correcting i also have her bronze and brighten it's so pretty i have this on as my bronzer today mine is in fair i would suggest that if you're fair or light you go with this medium they have it and then they have another one that's darker they i think they have several colors but this for me has that pink in it hopefully you can see the pink marbling in the baked product and the pink helps offset any sort of orange at all and this is such a good bronzer i cannot begin to tell you how much i love this bronzer i mean i could put this bronzer on all day long and just fall in love with it over and over and over again it's so pretty i really love it and then i chose to bring out sunlit rose for a blush oh my goodness this is such a pretty pretty blush um they're very much like the milani baked blushes but they're on a little bit higher level of that they never get hard they're always very true to color they have the most soft wash of just a gorgeous gorgeous flush blush color there's so many to choose from i have like four or five i didn't bring them up here today but they're pretty and if you're a woman that loves highlighter but you don't want to go in for these super 
super beaming highlighters one of her very most beautiful it's actually called a blush but it's not because it's so very light this is ethereal rose and this is one of those highlighters that just doesn't look like a highlighter because it has the lightness about it but it doesn't have any beaming or strobing or anything like that she also has her french vanilla and french kiss duo on her website by the way you can get some of these things on amazon some of them you have to get off of her website but what's great about laura geller is she always has the best sales i mean there is a sale going on every week and it's up to 50 percent. it just depends on when you catch it so this is french vanilla on this side and french kiss on this side so you have a little bit warmer color and then a little bit more on the cool side and i just mix them together and they're so pretty so i feel like laura geller is very overlooked oh my goodness she's so overlooked i really wish that more people talked about her products because i feel like her products are stunners let's talk about eye products because i have purchased a quad from uh charlotte tilbury this one is if i can't read it of course i gotta get my glasses this one is the, the exaggerize i don't know i don't know if that's a color or if it's another one but i really wanted this one because because it was a very nude color okay this is all right but i'm telling you that this is not anything to write home about i this one right here it's a topper you can barely see it it doesn't show up hardly anything then you have one darker color that wouldn't work for women that had needed a deeper color and then you have two more highlighter or metallic colors up here I just, I was really disappointed in this and I had gotten one other of her quads before and I'd actually taken it back. I kept this one for reference and I also got this particular palette from her during the holidays and I think this one is still around. Starry Eyes to Hypnotize. I was so disappointed in this one as well. I liked the color story. I thought it was really pretty. I think it's her packaging that sucks us in and we feel like, oh wow, her packaging is so pretty, then it must be great products. For me, these fall so short and I just, I can't get on board with her eye products, with her shadows. I do actually like this little product right here, which is her eyes to memorize and this mesmerize. And this is a little uh, champagne and this is the liquid uh product and so i do like this one this one's good because you can put this on your lid and it's not too much and it doesn't like flake or anything during the day and it doesn't accentuate texture so i do like that but i don't think it's something that i would repurchase and here's the reason because i feel like in so many areas of charlotte's not just her eye products but especially her eye products color pop knocks it out of the park i recently just purchased four new palettes from ColourPop, and i love every single one and all of the formulas from ColourPop, they have got their formula down most of the time they are just beautiful so i'm just going to kind of flash these because i don't really have time to swatch them and talk about each one this one is of quartz very cool toned but you do have some of these colors that can warm your look up a little bit and then you have some very lighter colors that you can do transitions with love of that by the rose is one that i'm just starting to play with because i just got it this week but i really like this for summer these are going to be bright colors brighter colors that you can wear on your eyes it does have a little bit more warmth than i would normally choose but it has some beautiful pinks in there that i think are going to go great and especially if you are anywhere from neutral to warm i think that you would really love that so fly and the glow getter are the two that i mainly wore today so i started out in the glow getter and i used the peach right here then i went over into the so fly and i went into that green right there and i used it to do my outer v color and then i went in back in and i kind of just buffed it out a whole bunch then i used the green right here this is a light light green which is so pretty by the way and i used that across my lid and then right before i was done i went into the color right here which is kind of a green as well but it's a really light silvery green and i just popped that right there in the middle of my lid just to bring a ton of lightness i love these i feel like the satins are beautiful the metallics are amazing the shimmers are gorgeous you just 
seriously, you cannot go wrong. And especially with those mattes. That's one of the things that Charlotte Tilbury I feel like is missing is that that matte formula isn't quite as good. Personally, I love ColourPop, but that's not the only reason that I love ColourPop. If you have never tried ColourPop Super Shock formula that they started out with in the beginning, you're really missing out. I didn't bring all of them over here, but you're going to get the gist. This is my favorite highlighter that they have. This is Smoke and Whistles. Everybody likes Flexitarian. I'm a Flex, I'm a Smoke and Whistles kind of girl. The blush I've talked about for years. You guys are probably tired of hearing about it. Birthday suit is my very favorite one. These are very much reminiscent of the MAC. Um, I think they're, oh gosh, I can't remember the name of them. How bad is that? I'm always talking about the MAC ones. Anyway, it's a bouncy formula. They go on cream and then they dry down to a powder and they can be built up and they have tons of different colors. Birthday suit's my favorite because it kind of goes with my coloring. And then I have a couple of their super shock formulas for the eyeshadows and this is what I feel like the eyes to mesmerize is, I feel like this is better. First of all, let me show you one of the matte ones. And this is one of the very few matte ones, but it's called Bill. I don't know why they don't bring more of the matte ones out other than all the young people really want the glitter. And I get that. I guess they have to kind of, you know, stay with what they know sells well. But I love that. It's the most beautiful mauve toned that you can wear um, as a transition wear it down into your crease that's a one and done shadow and it's named bill after my husband so i think that's wonderful <laughs> and then the next one is called sure thing now when you see these uh, when you very first spot these in the store and you look into the packaging you're going to see a bunch of glitter on the top it does have a little bit of glitter on some of them, but they're like pinpoint glitter. So you don't necessarily have to worry about it because when you use them, they don't hardly show up that glitter at all. This formula will stay around and be on your eyes. And it is, you want to talk eyes to mesmerize. Here we go. This color right here is the one. This one is called Koosh. And this is the most beautiful color on your eyelids. I When I first got this one, I was like, whoa baby. That is, to me, that's an eyes to mesmerize color. They have so many colors of these. Six dollars as compared to what is this one? I don't know exactly what this one, but I want to say it's got about a thirty dollar price point on it. Yeah, so I do feel like ColourPop knocks it out of the park for those reasons right there. Lastly, let's talk about the iconic lip pillow talk. Do I feel like pillow talk is iconic? It's a really good color that works on a lot of women. And in that case, I feel like it might be considered a little bit iconic, but it really is just a basic color. And when I put it on my lips personally, I always feel like it leans orange and you know, it's very warm. And so for me, it's not that iconic color. I do have one other of hers. I've had a few in the past. I just declutter them. Kim KW is a beautiful nude that I think that so many women that really are missing out on a pink nude that, you know, a lot of nudes are the peachy nudes or, you know, a very just blase beige nude. This is a pink nude. And I like the formula of this one a little bit better too, because it's not her uh, matte formula. I also am not crazy about her lip glosses. I do have one of her lip liners and I think this one is an iconic. I think paired with the Kim KW, it would be just gorgeous. So these are good. They're beautiful. I yeah, I like them. I wear them at times, but they're not what I reach for all the time. Do I feel like they are the be all and the end all, the most iconic lipsticks of all time? No, but that's again, my opinion. So in choosing lip colors that I truly felt were iconic, what did I choose? In all reality, I feel like Maybelline is the iconic lip. They have been around for years. They've done it for such a long time, especially their lipsticks. And if you've been around my channel very long, you know that I am a Maybelline lipstick fanatic. I have a ton of them. They don't cost you $30 or $28, however much Charlotte Tilbury's do. And you still get the lasting quality, the blendable, the blendability. Just, there's so many good things about it. Let me start out with her liners which I think are just amazing. I have on today this one in Almond Rose. It's so pretty. Um, this is an automatic liner and it does have a little sharpener in the bottom, which Charlotte Tilbury's you do have to sharpen by the way. And this is just a very deepened mauve rose color. 
love it and then the next one i have is dusty rose just a little bit lighter version of that one and then i have it in gone grayish and i believe that gone grayish is one of the most iconic colors that anybody can wear because it doesn't matter whether you're warm or cool you put on gone grayish and you have a color that is a shadow that you can overline your lips with and give you that sultry pout that everybody wants and i love the creaminess of them they will dry down and they will stay if you want them to stay extra long let them you know put them on blend them out a little bit press a piece of paper and put it on again and you're going to have something that's going to last all a day long her formula for her lipsticks so so good she does have a matte formula let me see what color this one is this one is called nocturnal rose i love her matte formula as well as i love her satin formula her matte formula is very saturated and very pretty and what i love about maybelline is you can get a true cool toned lipstick whereas i never feel like i get that with charlotte tilbury i always feel like i get that um, I get that neutral tone sometimes, but more than likely it's going to go warm on me. One of the most universal colors that I feel like so many women can wear is warm me up. And I have talked about that so much to so many of you and warm me up has been around for years and years. One of the most beautiful colors ever. One of the prettiest nude colors is nude lust. It is a little bit more along the lines of kind of a pink I don't know. I guess this truly is a neutral nude color, but it is also the satin color. So it has a little bit more creaminess to them. And then the other one that I'm holding up here is Rose Embrace. I'm pretty sure I've talked about Rose Embrace before as well. It's a very deepened almost, oh, almost like a deepened lilac color. And I really like that rosy tone. Now, I also love their ink crayons. These are so good. Um, let me see if I can figure out what color this one is. This one is Stay Exceptional. These are amazing. You can keep them kind of uh, sharpened with the sharpener that's on the bottom and you can make a really nice line with them or you can just fill in your lips with them. They are so good. They are matte, but they're not too matte. And in saying that, I mean that they're not going to dry you out. They're so good. They do have a really matte formula that I wasn't really crazy about, but that one is a nice one. They also have this new line that, and this one is called More Mauve, which is a little bit more matte than that original one. And I do like that one as well. They do look very close to the same color right there, but this one's a little bit deeper than that one is. And the formula is great. This one lasts all day. If you want another tip about these, same thing on all of your lipsticks. Put on the lipstick, blot it with paper. Don't do it with a tissue. Um, you can do it with a towel if you don't mind your towels getting a little bit dirty. But do it with a paper, blot it, and then reapply it. And you will have a really all day long lipstick that you'll love. Now, these lifter glosses came out a couple of years ago. And these are showstopper glosses. Charlotte Tilbury cannot, cannot touch these. This one is in pearl. And then the other one I have is in moon. Both of these have a little bit of a uh, reflect in them, which I always have to have a little reflect in my um, glosses because I love that. What I love about these is this is the most pillowy lip gloss I think I've ever owned. It is very much like Fenty's, but I, I don't even think Fenty's is as nice as this. It just is so... I don't know how other to explain it other than it is extremely hydrating, extremely glossy, and it makes your pout look so pretty. But at the same time, you just feel like you have pillows on your lips. I don't know how else to explain it. Maybelline all the way. Maybelline all the way. I cannot tell you how much I love it. So this was kind of a dupes video without having the dupes title. I just feel like these aren't dupes. They're better. This was, this brand hits it out of the park way better than Charlotte Tilbury. I hope that you did enjoy it today. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Do you agree or disagree? Do you have a product that you think might be better than Charlotte Tilbury? Do you have one of Charlotte Tilbury's products that you think is the best and that nobody can tell you any different? That's okay too. I'd love to hear that from you in the comment section as well. Right now I'm going to put up on the screen another video, possibly a dupes video that you can go check out um, and see what you think of my other dupes videos that I do. And you can watch that one next. I hope that you are all doing really well, that you're happy and healthy. Please come back around in my next video. We'll be together. And I love you so very much and appreciate all your support. Take care, my friends. Goodbye.